This is the Ceres Freedom Super Clamp 2. We've had this hitch rack for about a year and a half now, and it's served us real well. We've taken it on some long trips without any issues whatsoever. Except for that one time, but that was user error, and I'll let you know all about it in a minute. So anyway, today I'm going to be talking about some of the features of this bike rack and why you should consider this bike rack for yourself. And if you're not interested in the bike rack specifically, then at least you can learn a few things in this video about what you should look for in a bike rack and what you should avoid. So let's look over the construction of the bike rack and some of its main features. The only plastic parts are the clamps that hold the wheels and the scoops that the wheels sit on. The bike rack only weighs 32 pounds, making it super light and fairly easy to attach and detach from your hitch receiver. Once attached, I like to use my drill to screw in the bolt for a tight fit that makes sure that the rack doesn't sway. To slow down would-be thieves, they also provide a lock for the bolt and two keys. Make sure to keep one in the car in case you lose the other one. The keys are also used to secure the two locking cables that are integrated into the ends of the bike rack. Ceres also provides a sticker that you can place on the hitch after lining up the holes so that when installing the hitch rack, you can line it up quickly and easily. The bike rack is built for a 1 and 1 4th inch receiver, but it also comes with a 2 inch adapter. Now, the most important feature for me personally is that there is no contact whatsoever with the rack to the frames of the bikes. The only contact points are the tires on the bikes. That'll ensure that your bikes aren't getting unnecessarily scuffed up or scratched. This leads me to my next point. Do not buy a hitch rack that holds a bike by its frame, especially the kind that hangs the bike from the top tube. You might as well buy a $20 trunk rack from a department store. If you're buying a hitch rack, make sure to get one that doesn't contact the frame of your bike. It's not worth saving $100 on your hitch rack only to damage what could possibly be a $2,000 frame on your bike. So anyway, back to the Ceres Freedom Super Clamp 2. When placing your bikes on the rack, make sure to have the derailleur facing away from the arms. Also, make sure to use the straps provided on the scoops to secure your wheels. When I first bought this bike rack, I didn't use the straps, and when driving over a very rough road, my fork must have compressed a bit allowing my wheel to pop out of the wheel scoop. Luckily, it didn't fall out completely, so my bike wasn't damaged. Okay, so now let's talk about the capacity of this bike rack. The bike rack fits bikes up to 60 pounds. The standard scoops have a max tire clearance of about 2.4 inches. The website says 2.25, but I tested it and it fit bigger tires just fine. I would highly recommend upgrading the scoops to the same ones that come stock on the EX version of this rack. The EX version of this rack is almost the same to this one, except that it comes with the bigger wheel scoops and it also has a tilt feature. I didn't really need the tilt feature since I can access my trunk just fine, and it was a lot cheaper to buy the rack used and order the better scoops separately from the Ceres website. The bigger wheel scoops also come with longer wheel straps on all four scoops, unlike the stock ones where the straps are only on the scoops for the front wheels. With the wheel scoop upgrade, I feel that the rack is now perfect. In its current form, I have absolutely no complaints about it whatsoever. If you have an extra large bike, depending on its wheelbase, you might be able to fit it in if you move the locking arms as far apart as possible. If you still can't fit your bike in, then you can buy the long wheelbase bar off the Ceres website. Which brings me to my next point. You can buy all the replacements for any damaged parts or modifications on the Ceres website. So altogether, the weight of the rack, the ease of use, the features provided, and the ability to replace parts and modify the rack make the Ceres Freedom Super Clamp 2 a great choice for long-term use. I personally am going to be using this rack for the foreseeable future. There's really no reason why I would need to upgrade. Any rack more expensive than this provides little to no benefits over the Ceres rack while costing two to three hundred more dollars. So that's all for my long-term review of the Ceres Freedom Super Clamp 2. I hope you found this video useful, and don't forget to like and subscribe.